Here's our fifth axiom. Uh, it's called ordinality uh, on uh, the preference domain U. And I'm going to refer to this axiom as O. Uh, the basic idea is the following. The winner should depend only on the citizen's ordinal rankings, ordinal preferences, and not on uh, preferences, intensities, or other cardinal information. All right. Uh, well, mathematically, how do we define that? For any two uh, preference profile, u and u prime, on our set of domains u, and for any y, a subset of y, a subset of x, uh, so I have an if-then statement. If this condition holds, I am going to read it, then uh, the voting rule should select exactly the same alternatives under u and u prime. All right, so u and u prime, these are two uh, preference profiles. If they are the same, obviously the voting rule should select the same thing, but they're different potentially. However, they, are, they have the same ordinal information. This is what this condition means. So how do we mathematically define or say that u and u prime have exactly the same ordinal uh, 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 information or preferences. Well, this is how we say it. Uh, for every individual and for any x, y in the set of uh, alternatives y, uh, agent i prefers x to y under u if and only if agent I prefers x to y over u prime. So what does that mean? That means I have two preference profile, u and u prime. Remember, u is u1, u2, all the way up to un. u prime is the same, u1 prime, u2 prime, all the way up to un prime. So these are vectors. So for every individual i and for any two alternatives, x and y, if agent I ranks x over y under u, well, he also ranks x over y under u prime, okay? So for any individual i, maybe some individuals put, so I mean, here's, here's for example, two utility functions, all right? So u prime, I have u1 prime, u2 prime. So let's suppose we have only two voters and then u is u1 and u2, okay? And I have two alternatives, a and b. Don't forget that. So here, uh, u1 prime is, for example, 100 and, and 0. Okay, so this is utility of A, this is utility of B. And this is for u2 prime is, is 0, 100. Okay, so basically, agent 1 here prefers A to B, agent 2 prefers B to A. Okay, because uh, B's utility is higher. Well, here, however, again, the first number is the agent A's utility, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, candidate A's util uh, utility for candidate A and utility for candidate B, all right? Well, here, however, it is, I don't know, uh, 5, 4, and then here it is uh, uh, 60 and 70, okay? So again, these are two different uh, preference profiles, but the thing is, uh, both of those preference for profile for each individual, I mean, look at individual one, all right? Here, X is better than Y, A is better than B. Well, here, A is also better than B, okay? Well, what about individual two? Well, for individual two, B is better than A, but you know what? B is also still better than A, a uh, under U prime, okay? So this is what this condition is. And it's true for any uh, voter and for any two candidates. So if this is the case, well, then we say U and U prime have actually exactly the same ordinal information. And so the voting rule should suggest exactly the same outcome.